this robot that we tested in this design, which is not optimized, can jump at four meters per second to a height in excess of 30 centimeters. When we're demoing this robot, what we're gonna see is the methane and oxygen mixture flowing into three different actuators. But simultaneously, we're going to trigger an electrical spark that ignites the methane and oxygen, propagates a flame into each actuator, which then heats up the gas, expands the actuator, and causes it to jump. There's a few good reasons to do this work. Uh, one, it makes them faster. Uh, another is the high volumetric energy density of using these fuels to power the robots. When we eventually start making untethered robots, then they can go for longer duration missions. We make these robots out of uh, organic elastomers. Specifically, we've chosen silicone systems um, because we can work with them easily in our lab. They can stretch to large extents in large strains, um, and we use that ability to give our machines lifelike motions. Many times, people think of these machines as delicate, but they can actually survive low temperatures, and we've shown high temperatures for short durations. They can survive some blunt impact, for example, and we're working on other methods to make them even tougher. This work's important because it will allow our, our soft robots to work faster and for longer um, in untethered missions.